Hi guys, it's Nikki back, back with Laura's Legacy. I hope you guys are having a great Saturday night. You can probably tell I'm getting sick. Um, <clears throat> it's been a really long day. It started out with Jet's cross country meet, which he had a personal record. I was so happy he did a phenomenal job today. So <clears throat> I'm super, super happy about that. Um, I did have a funny story to share with you guys. So I typed in <clears throat> the address of where his, his cross country meet was. And I kid you not, <clears throat> I must have um, gone to a Dollar Tree at some point in the same town because I accidentally hit that button not knowing and literally it took me to the DT. I was laughing. I'm like, oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? So before I even got to the meet, I went to the DT because <laughs> my car took me there. I was like, what is going on? <clears throat> so had a meet really early this morning, went to work and worked seven and a half hours today. I never sat down. I never went to the bathroom. I never like stopped for one second. It was just a crazy day. So unfortunately I'm getting sick and my throat is really hurting me. So yeah, that's going to be fun. Um, I've been so good with hand sanitizer too. Oh, so if you are new to my channel, welcome and thank you for stopping by. I really hope you will stick around and um, watch my crazy videos. I do them all in honor of my mom. She and I had a blast together going shopping all the time and she would have just got a kick out of the fact that I was supposed to be at a cross country meet and I ended up at the Dollar Tree. So she was probably looking down laughing at me going, uh-huh. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> my throat is really bad right now. So, and I don't like tea. I don't like coffee. Um, yeah. So, anyhow. All right, I'm going to jump into what I found at the Dollar Tree today. And um, some more, like, breast cancer awareness things that I found. But I, like, just couldn't pass them up. So, Look at this bracelet I found. This bracelet is so cute. I just loved this. I'm like, yep, I'm getting that. I think that's so pretty. So I actually bought two of them. And I've been adding more things to my giveaway. And yeah, I found the bath bomb. And it smells really good. So... <clears throat> I found um, one of the pens, and I think it's really cute because it's supposed to say pink, but I think it's really cute. Uh, I found a bandana, but this this bandana, you guys, is so soft. Oh my gosh, it is just so soft. I don't even know. I mean, I can't even describe how soft this is, and it's so cute. So I grabbed that. I found um, these keychains. Now I've seen some people haul these and I really, really think they're cute. With the little breast cancer symbol. The hook is like super itsy bitsy tiny. <laughs> Look how tiny that tag is. Like the, or that, not tag, the little clip. It's so small. Um, and then I found one in black. And let's see what else I found. <clears throat> found some pens. And I think these are really, really cute. Let's see. I grabbed another couple decks of cards. These are for Annette. Annette lives very close to me. Uh, but she could not find these in Greenwood. No. I found them in Greenwood. She couldn't find them in um, Lawrence. So I grabbed two decks for her. I will be running into her, I'm sure. I was kind of surprised that I was able to find some of the new planner sticker, not stickers, the sheets. This is just 
just a note, but look how pretty the background is. It's like a fall color. I, don't, I just think it's really pretty. And then I found the ones that say month of. And then they had the divider. And like this is like a rustic wood looking. And then on the back is the plaid. So I thought I'd grabbed two sets of these. I found just a couple more things. The little binder tags. Of course they're backwards because, you know. Oh, I think these are really cute. I'm sure I could probably make these, but like I have time to make these. I don't. <laughs> um, I couldn't resist the fuzzy socks because the unicorns are just, just too cute and they're super soft. So, yes, I grabbed them. All right. Now, I saw this at the Dollar Tree probably, I want to say, like a year or two ago. Maybe it was longer. And I was shocked to come across it again. And it's this, like, design of this, I don't know what you call it, like, it says Venice on it, but it's kind of like more romantic type of, it's by Greenbrier, um, it's 90 pages, but I do remember seeing these. Comment below if you remember these too, because, yeah, <laughs> I remember these, and I don't know how long ago it was, it was like a long time ago. I don't even think I lived here. I lived in Illinois when I saw these. So that's how long it's been, like maybe over three years ago. All right, so I found something today that I have not seen before. Now, potentially Jenny could have hauled these and I didn't remember seeing them, but I definitely picked it up and I bought one for Sabrina as well. And that's the book of you for my child with love. So it's a journal, a keepsake journal. And I don't know if you guys have seen these before, but maybe you probably have. But you can write information in it here. And just on the back it says, show your child how, just how much you love, appreciate, and admire him or her with this book of guided prompts that allow you to express the joy, proud, pride, and laughter your child brings to your life celebrate what a unique and special what is unique and special about your child as only a parent can with novel ways for you to share treasured moments and memories gratitude favorite photographs and encouragement for the future this is a beautiful gift that will be treasured for a lifetime so it says the book help the book of you helps you put on paper what's in your heart so it's it's got different prompts in it loving you yesterday there's some quotes here and then like the first one says when i first found out about you and then you write like the story of that and then it says i was so excited to add you to the family here we are in or er, e well, eagerly waiting for you to arrive so like maybe some ultrasound pictures or something. And then here's what happened the day you finally came. Um, when you were a baby, I sometimes called you. That is going to be a good one. <laughs> uh, immediately life changed. Immediately life changed for our family in so many ways. And then you can list things. Your toddler talk was adorable. I melted when you said... How cool is this? Um, after a busy day, I always look forward to our bedtime ritual. Um, you cherish the stuffed animal or toy so much that I chuckle now when I remember how you insisted on wearing. When you were little, you, <laughs> you reminded me of this relative or person or fictional character because... So it has like the coolest like different things that you can put in here um not just necessarily like milestones but um oh how you loved these books songs games or other activities and at what age so it, it just i think it's so cool these smells sounds or tastes remind me of you 
Oh, this is so cool. This was a, a wonderful family tradition and you participated. Um, this says, my love in color. Add color to this heart and or background. So you can color that for your child. Um, I positively beamed when watching you describe or attach a photo of a performance activity or other. You could go on and on with this for like ever. And yeah. So it just, it just keeps going and going and going. So I am like so excited. So if you've seen this before, this would be great to, to give to like a new mom. Um, it would be great to give to a grandmother and a grandmother write down some of the things that they feel or just for you to kind of go back. I would have loved my mom to take the time even once I was a, was grown to fill this out for me because what a precious thing this would have been for me in her own handwriting. So if you have a, a daughter or even a son that you are especially close to or whatever the case is, um, and filling one of these out, can you imagine giving this as like a Christmas gift or a birthday gift? This is amazing. So Sabrina, I picked one up for you. If you don't want it, let me know and I'm sure that maybe I can figure out. I only saw two. I went to the register, I bought it, and then I thought, I asked the lady, can you ring up two, please? Because I'm going to go back for the other one. And so I went back to the other one. And so I was really, really glad that I got them. So that's it for tonight, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you so much. You guys have been so awesome to me. I just love you guys to pieces. And I have some never fail mail to open and maybe I can get to some of that tomorrow. Again, I'm not feeling so good. My throat's starting to hurt. So I kind of know that that's when I'm like starting to get sick. So you guys have an awesome night. I hope um, you have a wonderful rest of the weekend as well. And I will talk to you soon. I will link my information down below if you want to send me something in the mail. I have a P.O. box and I will link that information down below. And I would love to be able to send something out to you as well. So hugs to all my butterflies out there. Have a great weekend, guys.